Hello everyone, welcome to this video, I'm Ryan and today we are here with another tutorial in Illustrator. So let's jump into the program, as you can see here we have some simple objects and we want to change them at the same time. So uh, let me just click on one of them, I want to change all of these three circles here. I choose one of them and then under the properties you can find the start global edit. And if you don't have this properties panel here, just easily go to window and find it here, just click on it and it will be appeared here. So just click on it and as you can see the other circles are selected. So let me change one of them, at first I'm gonna just move one of them. Okay, when I'm moving you can see that all of them are moving together. So that's the other thing I'm gonna try is to just go to the pen tool and I want to just change one part of it and as you can see all of them are affected and all of them will be changed. Okay, let's see some more detail here. So here we have some other shapes here and we want to change them together. So I first choose one of them and again click on this start global edit here. So if I do this you can see that all of this tree has been selected. And now you can just simply change one of them and you can see that all of them has been changed. Okay, let's get some more information about this trick. So uh, here we have some shapes here and we want to change them uh, together. So let me click on one of these and start global edit. Here we can see this, this three has been selected. So and if I change uh, one of them, all of them will be changed. And now here I'm going to global edit option here. And here we got two filter for this from appearance or size. If I choose the size, because they have a similar size, all of them will be selected. But if I choose the appearance here, you can see that only one is the same appearance here is this, is this tool. So here's a difference between them, that appearance and size are two filter for this global edit. So here we have another one. If I click on a start global edit, nothing will happen and the program cannot find similar object because there is no similar in appearance and size to this rectangle. And here we have some more examples to understand how it working. So let me select one of these and a start global edit and there is no similar object again. So let's click on this and check it again and also the same because they have been a little bit rotated. So let me check this too. I, I'm gonna select one of them and start global edit and as you can see because they have a similar appearance and the size, they will be selected and will be affected together. Alright, it was a really easy and fast tutorial in Illustrator to how to select multiple objects which are similar together in appearance and size and affect all of them just by one click. It's very good for your crowded project, for your crowded upwards, if you want to change a number of similar objects together. So um, I hope it would be useful for you and I'll be glad if you subscribe and hit that like button and if you have any question just write it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching again.